Hello, welcome back to our math class tutorial. So this time, ang ituturo ko naman sa inyo is all about the arithmetic means. So when we say arithmetic means, it is the terms of an arithmetic sequence that are between two given terms. Or, when we say arithmetic means, it is the number that are found between the two extreme numbers. So like for example, in the arithmetic sequence 5, 8, 11, 14, and 17, there are three arithmetic means between 5 and 17. And these are the 8, 11, and 14. So, itong 5 at 17 na ito, ito yung tinatawag natin na extreme. And then, the number that are found in the middle are called mean. So, ito yung extreme natin and ito yung ating mean. So, like for example, insert 3 arithmetic means between 17 and 1. So, ang hinahanap natin ay ito, insert 3 arithmetic means between 17 and 1. So, we need to put 3 numbers between this given two numbers. So, the arithmetic sequence is of the form 17 a sub 2 a sub 3 a sub 4 and then 1. So, bakit ganito ang ginawa ko? So, ang sabi kasi dito, we need to insert three arithmetic means between 17 and 1. So, between 17 and 1, there are three arithmetic means which is unknown. So, ito yung kailangan nating sagutin. So, para masagot natin, we need to identify the first term. So, what is our first term? So, our first term is 17. And then, our last term or the fifth term is equal to 1. And then, our n is the total of the, or I mean, the total of the terms. So, there are 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, in this sequence, there are 5 terms. And then, we need to find the common difference. So, common difference is unknown also. So, para makuha natin yung common difference at para mahanap din yung second, third, and fourth term, we need to substitute these numbers in our formula. So, again, our formula of the arithmetic sequence is a sub n is equal to a sub 1, our first term, plus n minus 1 divided by our common difference. So, itong, itong a n na ito, ito yung ating fifth term. So, ano nga ba yung fifth term natin? So, yung fifth term natin is 1. So, 1 is equal to our first term, which is 17, plus itong n naman na ito, the total of the terms in a arithmetic sequence. So, there are 5 minus 1 multiplied to common difference. So, again, hanapin muna natin si common difference para makuha yung 3 arithmetic means. So, 1 is equal to 17 plus 5 minus 1 is 4 multiplied to D. 
Therefore, 17 plus 4D. Para matira or makuha natin yung common difference, we need to transpose this number to the right side. So, negative 17 plus 1 is equal to 4D. So, negative 17 plus 1 is equal to negative 16 is equal to 4D. So, para matira yung variable dito, we need to divide both sides by 4. Okay, so our common difference now is equal to negative 4. So since nahanap na natin yung common difference natin, which is 4, now we need to substitute or add, i-add natin yung common difference sa ating first term para makuha natin yung second, third, and fourth term. Okay. So, sas i-add na natin yung common difference natin sa ating first term. Again, our common difference is negative 4. So, 17 17 plus negative 4 is equal to 13. So, ito yung ating second term. Next, yung 13, yun na yung second term natin. So, 13 plus negative 4 is equal to positive 9. So, this is our third term. And then, yung fourth term natin, yung 9, yung third term natin, 9 plus negative 4 is equal to 5. So, our second term, third term, and fourth term are 13, 9, and 5. So, yun yun. Another example, what is the arithmetic mean between negative 12 and 4? So dito, kukunin lang natin yung arithmetic mean between negative 12 and 4. So again, ito yung ating A1 or the first term, the second term, and then the third term. So, ang gagawin natin is, ito, pwede rin itong formula na ito. We need to add the first term and then the third term or the last term para makuha natin si A2. So, negative 12 plus 4 divided by 2 is equal to negative 8. Negative 8 divided by 2 is equal to negative 4. So, the answer is negative 4. So, para makasigurado tayo, hanapin din natin yung common difference. So, paano nga ba mahanap yung common difference? So, para mahanap yung common difference, mag-derive lang tayo or gamitin lang natin yung formula natin, which is a sub n is equal to a sub 1 plus n minus 1 multiplied to d. So again, yung n natin dito, yung n natin dito is 4. So 4 is equal to yung first term natin, negative 12 plus, so how many terms? 3 minus 1 multiplied to d. So, 4 is equal to negative 12 plus 2 D. Okay. So, transpose natin ul ulit si, ne si negative 12 sa left side. So, there are, so, 12 plus 4 is equal to 2 D. And then, 12 plus 4 is 16 is equal to 2 D. 
So, i-divide natin siya sa 2 para matira si D. Therefore, our common difference is 8. So, kung i-check natin, si ito yung common difference natin, we need to add, we need to add this in our first term, which is 12. So, negative 12 plus 8 is equal to negative 4. So, nakuha natin yung ating second term. So, ganun lang yung, or ganun lang kadali ang pagkuha sa arithmetic mean. Okay, in summary, the formula in getting the arithmetic mean is a sub n is equal to the first term plus the last term divided by 2. Ito, kung gusto nyo ng shortcut, pwede nyo gamitin ito. Or, kung gusto nyo pa rin makasigurado para o na kunin yung common difference, you need to use our formula which is the a sub n is equal to a sub 1 or the first term plus n minus 1 multiplied to d. So kahit alin dyan ang gamitin natin, ay yun pa rin ang kalalabasan. So that's it for our arithmetic means tutorial. So kapag may mga katanungan, please comment and please share our tutorial video today. Thank you.